Hello again, everybody. Wolf here. Make another uh, solo adventure dinner. So tonight I'm trying to be developing an experimental dinner I'm going to call Chicken Parmesan Casserole. So it's something I'm going to make uh, in, in my cast iron skillet. And just basically it's a super simple dinner to make. It's chicken strips cut up into pieces, uh, sauce, cheese, a little touch of vegetable oil, and some elbow macaroni all mixed together in uh, one pot. So should be a good dinner. Should be very easy to make and should be pretty quick to make. So right here I've got just a pot of water. So while that's starting to boil there, we're going to get the chicken ready. So I got a package of chicken strips here. Brought these from home in the freezer. I had bought them as I, as I do a lot of these things here. I bought a big package of them and split them up into these little smaller Ziploc bags and stuck them in the freezer there so I can grab a pack when I go camping. It gives me just enough for one person. As once again, as I've run into other problems here, <laughs> that you can't just buy small, single person sized amounts of food. So when you want to do these trips here, you got to split thing, bigger things up. So we're going to take these out and split them up into, uh, or cut them up into smaller pieces here. Ah, uh, messy. <laughs> well, we're waiting for the water to boil. Probably stick them back in the Ziploc bag while I'm waiting because it could be a while. And yeah, I want to keep the flies and other things from getting into them. So There we go. Alright, put them back in the bag for now. I think I'm going to go wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Bunch in and some down on the side of the stove, as I usually do. Probably more than enough right there. I'm probably going to have more food than I know what to do with here. And we just let that cook, stirring it occasionally. All right, it looks like the pasta is ready. Maybe be strained. Oh, oop, almost lost one. <laughs> and as miracle would have it, I even remembered my strainer this time. It's rare, but I actually did. So we're just going to take this off to the edge of the uh, woods here and dump it out there. And we'll let the water strain out there. It's, it's natural, it's biodegradable, and it's supposed to rain tonight, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Like I said, we're just going to walk down into the uh, woods just a short ways here. And they made more pasta than the strainer can hold. Of course they did. So we're going to be doing something that normally isn't really good for uh, cast iron tonight. We're going to be putting spaghetti sauce directly in the pan. So I'm going to prep the pan a little bit here <laughs> for uh, what I'm about to do to it. Yeah. We're going to want to get the sauce out of it as quickly as we can once it's done too. So we're not going to want to leave it in there. Minimize damage to the uh, cast iron because the acid in the sauce will eat away at the seasoning on the pan. So I'm going to coat it good and thoroughly with oil first. This is olive oil spray. And then I'm going to put a touch of vegetable oil on the bottom of the pan too to coat the whole bottom of the pan with vegetable oil. Vegetable oil adds a nice basey flavor to the spaghetti sauce anyway, so it's not a bad thing to do. So, so don't feel, free, feel uh, bad about using too much vegetable oil. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start cooking the chicken in that, so let's turn the heat on. And all those chicken strips that I caught up are now going in the pan. And wait till the uh, chicken is cooked thoroughly before we move on to the next step because we want to minimize the amount of time sauces in the pan. Okay, so the chicken is about done. So it's ready to get into the uh, sauce and cheese and all that sort of fun stuff. Now, as before, I'm using pizza sauce, not because I wanted the pizza sauce flavor, but because uh, that's all you can get in small jars, really. I and mean, if you look around, you can find regular spaghetti sauce in small jars, but for the most part, most stores just sell pizza sauce in small jars and regular sauce in big jars. We're going to add this into the mix here. Let's stir that in quickly. The only cheese I brought with me is triple cheddar, so that's what I'm going to be adding to it. 
a mix of uh, cheddar and mozzarella would have been better. But I forgot to bring some mozzarella with me like I wanted to do, so I'm just going to use cheddar. Enough cheddar in there to get some cheese flavoring, but not so much that it makes a big mess and sticks to the pan. So I don't feel like cleaning that up tonight. <laughs> cheese covered with sauce. Smells good. All right. Now we add the pasta to it. Stir that in. So we got a nice warm fire here. We got our dinner. We got a bottle of old Soka root beer. It comes from uh, Bar Harbor, Katy, uh, not a Katy National Park, but Mount Desert Island. A friend surprised me with this uh, root beer uh, uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, I had commented uh, on on ham radio stuff there that I haven't had the uh, old Soka root beer in a while because you can only get it around Mount Desert Island. I haven't been up there in a while. Apparently he had gone up there uh, shortly after that <laughs> and picked me up a case. I came home from doing some errands and found it just sitting on my back step waiting for me. That was great. So, good dinner here. I'm going to have a good rupee tonight. Love this stuff. So let's see how this is. And of course, in my usual fashion, I like to make it snow on the spaghetti. You can put cheese on to taste. I like my Parmesan, though. A lot. All right, let's see how it is. Yeah, this came out real good. Anyway, hope you found this uh, helpful. And if you have any suggestions on how I can make these dinners better, let me know. Otherwise, um, let me know if you try making something like this too. And leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoy these things. I love uh, doing these uh, meals here. I always trying to figure out uh, meals that I can make for just uh, that are just the right size for a single person out camping. And always looking for suggestions too. Otherwise, uh, again, thanks for watching. Remember to slow down and enjoy life. And I will talk to everybody later. Anybody wants to come by and have some? You're welcome to.